If you were like me last week, when a third party tool has a script for you to add, you copy it, you go to your website and you paste it in typically the footer code. Or you may go to Google Tag Manager and add it there. Maybe it's Google Analytics, another analytics tool, or just any third party tool you need to add to your website. Well, I'm happy to say now that's not best practice. I'm gonna show you a much more streamlined way that improves speed, security, and just the maintainability of all of your third party scripts. And it's pretty much free. They do have a paid tier, but we'll get to that in a little bit. If you follow this channel at all, you know I have amazing things to say about Cloudflare's products. They are just changing the game and anybody who's managing a website needs to be using Cloudflare. Cloudflare recently came out with a tool called Cloudflare Zara's and it's a way to manage your third-party scripts in the cloud away from your website. It's kind of like Google Tag Manager, but for one, I've just kind of gotten away from all the Google tools out there on my site. I don't use Google Analytics. I don't use Google Tag Manager. But another thing is that Cloudflare really knows how to optimize the delivery of your website and the security of your website. And that's something that Google doesn't do. Now, Google Tag Manager is much more built out and you'll see that in a little bit here, some of the workarounds I needed to do, but I'm stoked to show you my setup in my Cloudflare account account because I've been able to offload 100% of my scripts on the website into Zara's and I've been able to divide them up into different regions to comply with different local laws. I really don't want a cookie banner on my website. I think they're intrusive and dumb. However, they're required in the EU under certain conditions and via this setup, I don't believe I need one. I'm going to get into that more in the next video I create on how I do all my analytics without needing a cookie banner. But for this video, I'm just going to give you a demo of Zara's here and just just show you why you should be using it, how awesome it is and how mine is set up. So any tools you add to the website, you go to add new tool and they have a bunch of like, eh, not a bunch, they have some pre-built stuff in here, but for everything I needed, nothing was in here. So custom HTML is what I'm using. You click this and you're able to drop in your own HTML. So a typical setup looks like this. You have your firing trigger. So any page view, I want this script to load. You have your blocking triggers, which are able to conditionally block certain scripts or the entire HTML. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And then you paste in your HTML code. You're also able to add different properties to the code. So if you wanna automatically input maybe the element that was clicked or the page path that you're on or many of these other properties that Cloudflare tracks for you, you're able to dynamically add them to your scripts. So super handy. Now in this case, instead of blocking each individual script, I wanted to block this entire, I don't know what they would call it, trigger or tool, the custom HTML. So you can go up to the settings and have blocking triggers that will impact everything you add under this grouping. And so in this case, I want to block everybody that is in the EU because this is my non-EU scripts. One thing you're gonna wanna do is go over to history and enable preview and publish workflow. This lets you test out different scripts before you make them live. And there's a special way that you're able to test them on your website without it going everywhere. So just for you, when you're browsing the website, you're able to test it. Now, if you're just adding like a Google Analytics script or something like that, then fine. You don't need this but for me i was testing different scenarios if you're eu if you're not eu um, and then i was testing my own custom script so I, I really didn't want to deploy that without being able to preview it on my site first i want to show you what it looks like to preview your website with the new script so in your settings page there's a preview key i'm blurring mine out so once you go over to the website you can pop open your console and type in zaras.preview and then in quotes you paste in your key and it'll reload your site with the previewer enabled and this will keep a log. So based on as you click around the website, it'll continue tacking onto the log and showing you all of the different things that are firing or not firing if you want to change some of the options up here. So super handy to be able to test your scripts before actually deploying them to everybody. And if you are using Google Tag Manager, they do have uh, an automatic conversion from the data layer into the czars.track, which is the equivalent to Google Tag Manager's data layer. Additionally, there's monitoring. So you're able to actually see like how many times your different scripts are firing. So for me, I might want to go to see how many of my visitors are EU versus not EU. How many form submissions am I getting? This is one of the workarounds I want to show you regarding form submissions. So typically when a form is submitted, you want an event to get fired and it's not automatically tracked with the tool that I was using. And I'll get into that in the next video. So I needed to send my own event and you're able to create your own trigger in the tools configuration. If we go to triggers, I have a specific 
submit offering form and you can select your form by a certain ID. So this event's gonna always fire when that form is submitted. So this is the trigger, submit offering form. And then in here, I'm able to run some JavaScript by getting the form on the page, getting some of the field values. I wanna know about the information that the person filled out so I can track how many different types of forms are getting filled out or maybe even the visitor themselves so I know in my analytics tools who each visitor is. And I'm able to do that here for my non-EU visitors. Now, it would be nice to have a little bit more dynamic and uh, configurable stuff in the UI where I don't have to write all this JavaScript to get the forms. However, that's just the way it is set up right now. And ChatGPT helped me create this. So if you need help with that, you can definitely reference ChatGPT and just be sure to test it out. All right, let's talk about pricing. Free tier, super generous. 100,000 Zaris loads per month and all of these great features. And then if you want to do the pay as you go, it starts at five bucks a month and goes up to 200,000 Zaris loads a month and has some other stuff here. So it's very inexpensive and it's definitely worth it. If we look at the marketing page for Zaris, they say that using the third party tool help with speed, privacy and security. The fact that it's just you're able to manage all of this in Cloudflare, even if there wasn't any speed or security, it's still just really nice because it's one central place to manage it all and you're able to respond based on the conditions of like where they're located and, and stuff like that. And speaking about where they're located, they do have consent banners. So if you want to have a solid cookie banner that once you accept it, then your scripts load, which is the proper way of doing cookie consent banners, then Cloudflare is the right tool you're able to uh, customize in HTML your banner and add a bunch of custom CSS to it. Uh, you're also able to assign different purposes to the tool. So when it pops open, you're able to say, we use uh, this batch of scripts. So say my custom HTML for analytics and another batch for advertising. And the user can actually check which ones they are opting into or opting out of and save their preferences. It's really great. I started to set it up and then I just didn't want a banner altogether. So I went a different route and in the next video, I'm going to show you my setup, how I'm doing all of my analytics that I believe are all in line with local regulations, whether it's California, Nevada, or most importantly, the European Union, without having to use a cookie banner, or consent, anything like that, because I've conditionally deployed everything. So I'm excited to show you that and we'll see you in the next video.